All right, guys, right now we're on our way to Connecticut. We got the IFTV boys, Yo. Matt and Max and Mike. Yo, okay, so we're going to interview a player, Mike. Give them uh, a hint who we're interviewing. Uh, we'll get there in a flash. <laughs> we recorded this two times, one for Instagram stories and one for so YouTube. Cringe. Okay, so um, the interview you're about to watch is with Adamo, who is in Toronto. Uh, shout out to the Milan Club of Toronto, who allowed us to interview 1982 World Cup winner, Daniele Masado. He's also on the Champions League. Guys, he's got some gems in there as our GPS going off. Last reminder, the De Rossi jersey giveaway. If you want it, subscribe to this channel, turn on the post notifications, and go follow us on Instagram, and you'll be entered to win the De Rossi jersey giveaway. Um, this interview will be out next week. Follow our Instagram stories for some live updates, and enjoy the interview. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Italian Football TV. It is Adamo here with Daniele Massaro, World Cup winner, Champions League winner, Milan legend. Now, Daniele, let's get straight into the interview, of course. Um, I don't know if you saw, but uh, Molinari, the first Italian to win a, um, uh, yes, the, the golf, the first open for the, the first, that's it. The first Italian yeah. won the major. Of course. What do you think about that? What do you think? It's my dream. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should go into it. Yeah. I I I would like, but uh, every every game I try to, to, to improve my, my golf, but it's very difficult. It's much better than soccer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we know that you had a very decorated career with Milan. You won a lot of things from Scudetti to the Champions League, Coppa Italia. Um, how did it feel winning the Champions League at a club like Milan that's so historic um, with all those incredible players? Ogni, ogni, ogni sportivo ha, ha un sogno, quello di raggiungere il massimo eh, per, un, uh, per un calciatore vincere la Champions League e il campionato del mondo eh, un atleta che fa un'altra attività ovviamente raggiungere una medaglia alle Olimpiadi o al, o, alla, o al Mondiale abbiamo tutti dei sogni dipende da te se riesci a realizzarli della tua volontà, della tua passione per raggiungere qualsiasi obiettivo sì. uh, Who was one of the best players that you played with or against in the Serie A for the Azzurri the best, uh, absolutely, Marco Van Basten. Against, uh, against uh, many. Maradona, Ronaldo, fenomeno. Uh, yeah, Maradona and, and Ronaldo is maybe the best. Okay, okay. Uh, what is one of your favorite things about the likes of Saki and Capello for how they coach? Tactically, uh, person to person, what is one of your favorite things? For me, for me, Saki, because teach me play soccer. Capello is very smart and intelligent, continue after five years, Saki, and uh, not change uh, something. Uh, obviously you did win the Champions League as we all know and uh, of course Milan they want to reach that point what steps do you think they need to take to be able to get there as soon as possible for AC Milan si. uh, in this time it's very difficult because they change uh, many many manager the, the president um, a, a lot of problems but uh, the most important that the AC Milan come back in Italy, in Europe, and in the world. Uh, obviously, Cutrone, a big fan favorite, scoring lots of goals, very young, grew up in Milan system. How do you see him growing as a player in the future, and how good can he really get as an AC Milan player? I remember because uh, when I, I go in, in Milanello two hours before the training, and uh, with the with the, the second coach start ABC for soccer stop dribbling cross shooting and Cutrone have good quality but uh, depends uh, depends I have a passion for for continuing it doesn't matter the the, the money and uh, the most important understand when you put the jersey AC Milan you are very lucky and what does it mean to you to be wearing the AC Milan jersey and a message 
to some players around the world who maybe forgot, what would you tell them about wearing the AC Milan jersey and what it means? When I was young, it was a dream to put the jersey AC Milan. I remember the first uh, day I put the jersey AC Milan after the the, uh, the, the uh, nascita, come si dice nascita? The birth. Of my my daughter is the best uh, the best day in, in my in my life. And uh, now the problem, uh, no many player understand uh, that you're very lucky when uh, when you put the jersey AC Milan. Uh, another big player at AC Milan, Gigi Donnarumma, of course, fantastic young goalkeeper. Um, he's been in the news recently, but if you had to give a young player like that, with the, all the attention, all of them, everybody watching them, if you had to give any advice for a player like him, Cutrone, um, Romagnoli, what would Romagnoli, you say? Yeah. Locatelli, Locatelli. is uh, the last five years maybe only AC Milan put in, in, in the first team uh, the, the many, many young uh, players. This is the problem the, the Italian. The Italian uh, missed the, 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 the World Cup and uh, I don't know, in Italy, I don't know, now the, the, the problem for Italian, we, we don't have the, the player with the talent because uh, the more improve uh, and the work a lot very hard uh, f in for the young team for growing up in the first uh, in the first team you also mentioned that Milan went through some coaching changes now Rino Gattuso is uh, taking over and last season he did quite well for what he had and uh, he um, you know he really unified the squad a lot of people were saying there was more laughter there's more people that felt a bit more together than how it was maybe under Montella, maybe under other coaches. How do you feel about Gattuso as a coach and going forward? Gattuso is uh, the very real spirit AC Milan uh, and uh, maybe the save the, the, the season last year. Um, and now I think is the good coach in this time for, uh, for the new season and for the future for AC Milan. Obviously, we're going to move on to the Azzurri. You were with them for a while. You won in 1982. Um, you know, you were part of a winning team. You were part of a system that worked. What would you say that the Azzurri from 1982, um, what, could, what could the team now take from the team back then? What adjustments should they make? Um, you know, you won. You were there. So what things do you think that we have to take from that team and put into this team? The, 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 the team, sorry? The team that we have now. What do you think they should change that's similar from maybe 1982? What made you guys win? I don't know. Maybe now, now Machina has a very hard, hard job for find the talent, for find the, 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 the player you want, you want really uh, try come back in, 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 in the World Cup with the, the real uh, spirit and we try, it's possible, win, uh, win uh, the World Cup. But I told you, in this moment in Italy you have very low level and uh, it's very hard uh, job for, uh, for Mancini find the, 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 the good player. See. Um, you were with Paolo Rossi, of course. He was the player of the tournament. He was the top goal scorer. Um, where do you think he ranks among the Paolo best, Rossi the best the, of all the time? Talented. <laughs> okay, so. I work with the, in, in TV with uh, with Paolo Rossi. It's fantastic. <laughs> but uh, um, of all time, where do you think he ranks uh, with Maradona, Pele, Ronaldo? Where where does he rank uh, out of all time? The best players of all time. In uh, um, yeah, Paolo. Paolo Rossi is the, is the best. He scored maybe six goals in, uh, in, uh, in the World Cup. Yeah. yeah. No, no many, many players score six goals and uh, the, the great career in, uh, in, uh, in Italy and uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the national team. Okay, we're going to end it off with the final question. I know you're excited for this. Um, of course, Juventus did sign Ronaldo. It's a big player for them. But what do you think this means for the rest of the league? Where now a lot of fans who maybe didn't watch the Serie A said maybe it wasn't the best league. Now they signed one of the best players in the world. What do you think this means for the Serie A? Uh, Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo is the very, very 
good professional. And uh, I don't know the decision moving uh, in, uh, in Juventus, but the Juventus uh, very very nice. But it's very nice for the for the Italian, si. for for the, the for the Serie A. Uh, with Ronaldo, without Ronaldo, maybe for the the last the the, the next uh, the next uh, three years, maybe the Juventus won the, the, the Italian champion. But I don't know in Europe. In Europe, it's very it's very difficult. Si. Um, I don't know. It, it's possible to try because Ronaldo, you know very very well <laughs> the, the the Champions League. Si. Uh, how many? Uh, five. Five. Uh, five. Five. Lots. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> okay. Good luck for uh, for Ronaldo. Good luck for uh, for Juventus. Try. They won this one. <laughs> Grazie. Grazie, my